What's good guys, welcome back to another review. So today we have just about every pair of shorts from Lululemon, at least the most popular ones. I have the commission short, we have the at ease short, license to train, the bowline, and then the pacemaker. And I also have a bonus dry sense t-shirt review that I'll be doing at the end. So I plan on trying all of these shorts on, giving my honest opinion, and then ranking them at the end. I also will put all the models and colors in the description below, but let's go ahead and get started. All right, first up, we have the commission shorts. These are a seven inch inseam. I got them in a size 32. I'm six feet tall, 178 pounds right now. If I measure my waist, it's like a 32 and a half. This colorway is called Gray Sage. It is definitely one of my favorite colors that they make. In the back here, of course, you have the belt loops and then two snap buttons. And also on the left side, you have an additional zipper pocket. Just so you guys know, I plan on sending three of the five shorts back. This is one that I'm definitely keeping. It doesn't have a tag. I've already worn it like four times and they wash really well. Big fan. Okay, next up, we have the At East short. So these are another one that I'm keeping because these were listed as final sale. Although I would have kept them anyway because I really like them. They're almost like a, a sweatshirt with this really cool texture. I got them in a size medium. Got the two drawstrings right here. They've got pretty deep pockets on both left and right sides. The back does not have any kind of pocket. These are also a seven inch inseam. And here's the inside. All right, next up we have the bowline shorts. I got them in a size medium and these are the eight inch. The bowline also comes in a five inch, but like I said, I got the eight. I absolutely love this color. I'm so like disappointed in the way that they fit though, so I will be sending these back. If they fit a little bit better, 100% what I'd keep them. These have interior drawstrings, so you can put them inside or out. The fabric is pretty stretchy. They're listed as water repellent and abrasion resistant, so you can maybe wear these in the ocean, in the pool, um, also maybe to work out. They seem pretty versatile. Next we have the License to Train short. These are a seven inch inseam and I got them in a size medium. They have the drawstrings on the outside. Also, it's pretty unique waistband right here. It's made out of mesh. Both the left and the right pockets have a zipper. There is also one additional back pocket with a zipper. These are obviously marketed for people who train. They're listed as being abrasion resistant. It said that they are sweat wicking and quick drying as well. I love the color on these. I think it's called carbon dust. And if I'm wrong, I will put the right color in the description, but I think that's it. Um, one issue I have with these is the waistband. Like it stretches like this, but there's something about like when it reaches its peak stretchiness, it just like dies. Like it is so stiff after that. And I notice when I put these on, like I'm really struggling to get them on and that's not usually the case for mediums. Real quick, just wanna show you, these are just a random pair of shorts. They're um, outdoor voices, like cloud shorts or something. If I grab it from about this distance, right? And I pull, like I have a lot of like, you know what I'm saying? Now if I do that with these, it's like you don't get that much stretch and I'm doing it like super hard. Um, it's kind of annoying. These are definitely pretty thin. Um, and as far as the fit goes, I wish they were a little bit more slim on the legs, but if you are using them for like training and squats and everything, I understand why they loosen them up a little bit because you have more range of motion. All right, last but not least, we have the pace breaker short. I got these in a size medium and they are the seven inch inseam. They just have regular pockets. Um, one of them has a zipper, this one right here. So on the right side, no pockets on the back. They do have that little stripe of mesh across the back there. Drawstrings are on the inside. These are probably the most thin out of all of the shorts. They also have like a different kind of texture. It's like just like smooth, feels just like a thin, smooth polyester. I also have an issue with this waistband. Like I feel like it doesn't stretch as much as I want it to. And again, with these, I feel like the leg hole openings are a little bit too wide for me. Um, but if you're gonna be using them for like running and stuff, I understand. It's just not for me. I'd rather have a slimmer leg hole and have it stretch. And then I can still have range of motion. Bonus review time. We've got the Dry Sense 
t-shirt. I got it in a size large. I actually went to the Lululemon store to try on a medium just in case. And it was like really snug, like in my chest and in my arms. Uh, it was just like too tight for what I was looking for. But this is like a big jump up in a size. It almost seems like it's up two sizes. So I'll try it on. So this is really, really stretchy. It's nice and breathable. As you can see, the sleeves go like a little bit further down than a typical t-shirt. And they're a little bit loose, nothing crazy. Neck hole, maybe a slight bit looser than I would want, a little bit. This is a curved hem, so you can definitely see it has a lot of length. Like here's the top of my waist right here, and the shirt goes all the way down to here. So very long, but also really comfortable, stretchy. I'll probably give this shirt like a 7.9 out of 10. It's nice and it fits pretty good, but it's just very expensive. So as you guys can see, I have the tag on, I will be sending it back. All right, now for the ratings and rankings. Rank number one is going to be the commission shorts seven inch inseam. I love the way these look. I love the color. Just a really easy short to wear if you're trying to look nice in like the summer or spring. I'm gonna give them an 8.6. I do wish they were a little bit stretchier in the waistband. Spot number two, we've got the at ease short. I really like these, they're comfortable, they fit well. I just wish they had better colors. You know, like this is a cool color, but they don't really have that many good colors in this short. Uh, I'm going to give them probably like an 8.4. Taking spot number three is the License to Train short. I think these are really cool. Like I love the texture on them. Super unique. Love the color. The fit is just like a little too loose for me. Um, and the waistband. Again, it's like annoying to put on and off. Going to give these probably a 7.9. Coming in fourth place, we have the Bowline short. It really saddens me that these come second to last because I love the color. I think the texture is really cool. If they just fit like a little bit more slim and they made them in like a seven inch inseam, I would love these. These would probably be spot number one or two, um, but they are just like super wide at the bottom, a little too long. Maybe I would have liked the five inch inseam more. I probably would have. These are getting a 7.8. And coming in fifth place is the pace breaker short. It's not that I hate these at all. They're just like they're fine, you know, but they're very expensive to be fine. Um, they are really thin. They do feel pretty durable. They're comfortable. The, but again, the waistband, it's like doesn't stretch enough. It's annoying to put on and off. And the leg hole openings are a little bit too wide for me. I'm also going to give these a 7.8 out of 10. All right, guys, that wraps this one up. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you will probably like my Primo Golf Apparel video. There are some really nice lightweight shorts and joggers that have the belt loops. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, like this video, and I will see you next week with a new one. Later, guys. Women buddy, buddy, like a spin dad. Wanna fuck me looking at the bill stack. Off the bubbly buddy, I've been stressed out. Let the smoke scream from my chest out. Niggas lay stuff, I really hate love from a stranger. Shit is fake stuff, only need it from you. Yeah.